Friday. Now I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke niggas. So, I'm going to try and film this really fast because in less than an hour my dad is going to be here and we're going to go look at a house and then we're going to go to Sioux Falls. So I'm going to try and film this. Maybe I'll edit it in the car. Who knows? But when I do finish it, I'll post it as soon as I can. So let's see how fast we can get this done. New questions first. So, uh, TNAC. One celebrity that I hate. Um, you know, I don't really hate celebrities. Sometimes I hate something they've done. Like, I I really just don't like Prez Hill. Because he's just an attention whore. And he's the most uh, prevalent attention whore. And that makes him my least favorite celebrity. If you can call him a celebrity. I mean, all he does is really write a blog. But whatever. Keith. Something about clothes spending. So I broke it down into some categories here. I usually spend five to twenty-five dollars for t-shirts, somewhere between fifty and seventy-five for jeans, somewhere between eighty to one twenty for shoes. For dress shirts, it's usually more like thirty to fifty, not that five to twenty-five for t-shirts. The most expensive article of clothing I've ever bought. Um, at one point I had hundred and twenty dollar running shoes. But I also bought a suit jacket for 150 but I'm pretty sure Keith said not to include suit jackets. So $120 running shoes are the most expensive article of clothing I've ever purchased. Robs, what major do I think you should do? I don't even know what major I should do, so you're probably asking the wrong person for advice. But I think you should pursue whatever major you see fit with at least a minor in music. I feel like that's one of your strengths, and you should play it up and explore that as one of your options. If not a minor, at least major in music, because you're basically the man, let's be really honest. So my question is going to be, what is your favorite book? I know Keith doesn't read, so this might be a tough one for him, but my favorite book is probably now my contacts falling out um my favorite book is probably either night just because it's so poignant poignant you get the idea and it's very concise it's a very short book but it has a lot of power either that one or you know the brothers karamazov it was a good book. Um, it had some very powerful ideas. It was just one of the most poorly written plot lines behind the ideas that I've ever read, ever. There's about 600 pages in that thousand page book that were unnecessary and probably could have been shortened down. Um, just for sheer reading pleasure, my favorite book is Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Ceteris because every single essay in that book makes me laugh. So there's three toss-ups right there, depending on what kind of book you're looking for. I've got a little bit of time left, so I guess I could talk about my week. Um, I got 10 points over the average on my Calc 3 test, so that's perfect. Um, next week is going to be a terrible week because I just got a text message. Also, it's going to be a terrible week because I have an OCHEM test I have 25 problems for Calc 3 due, and then I have two physics assignments due. I'm two-thirds of the way done with one of the physics assignments. I haven't started the Calc 3 problems, and I should have started studying for OCHEM this time last week, but I neglected to do so. So next week is going to be a terrible week, just so you know. Other than that, I'm heading home for Easter. That's exciting. going to eat a lot of candy. And we're going to look at a house later this afternoon, so that might be where I'm going to be situated next semester. So that's pretty exciting. I can't think of anything else to add, so I will see you guys next week.